okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question which graph represents the variation with displacement of the potential energy p and the total energy t of the system undergoing simple harmonic motion so my dear students what is happening in this question is that we are considering a simple harmonic motion and you are supposed to draw the graph of the potential energy and the total energy with respect to displacement and he's talking about the potential energy only not considering the kinetic energy so in these kind of questions my first advice to you is that whenever we're talking about a simple harmonic motion see there can be thousand types of simple harmonic motion but you are always going to uh, consider the spring mass system that's it so there is this spring there is this mass the mass is standing at the mean position okay and so it would be going to the extreme position this will be the negative extreme this is positive extreme and this is how the body is going to move in the simple harmonic motion so you must be knowing this thing already that at the extreme positions the displacement is maximum that is the amplitude and uh, the velocity is zero the restoring force is again max and so the acceleration is also maximum okay and in the mean position i would be telling you about the mean positions also in the mean positions you see the displacement is zero so the velocity becomes max the force becomes zero the acceleration becomes zero okay and now what about the energy so at the mean position when the x is zero obviously the potential energy for which the formula is half kx square and when x is zero at the equilibrium position so this will be zero but if i talk about the extreme position because x is maximum that is amplitude clearly the potential energy is also going to be maximum so the potential energy is also maximum so at the extreme position it is maximum and at the mean position it will it is going to be zero so no doubt about that it is going to be a parabola <coughs> potential energy is half kx square so potential energy is having a parabolic variation with respect to displacement clearly this graph is correct for the potential energy a is a wrong option and what about the total energy now so the total energy is the sum total of the kinetic and the potential so and it is always constant in the system it does not vary so you can see that this is kinetic plus potential so at the extreme position only and only potential energy is there and the kinetic energy is zero at this point so total energy is equal to potential energy clear this and the total energy does not change so it is going to be constant so my dear students b is absolutely correct option and i think that this should not be any any doubt there in this question if you are still not clear with this please mention that in comment section i will see all the best